Now, China has given a suspended death sentence to an Australian writer and businessman detained in the country since 2019. Dr. Yang Jun is convicted of espionage in a move condemned by Australia and, as, and is seen as a blow to its warming relations with China. Today, February 5, 2024, the Beijing No. 2 Intermediate People's Court announced the sentencing in accordance within the law for the case of Australian defendant Yang Yangjin, who was accused of espionage. He was found guilty of espionage and sentenced to death within two years probation, and it was ordered that all his personal properties be confiscated. Dr. Jun, a scholar and novelist who blogged about Chinese state affairs, denies the charges that have now not been made public. The Australian government says it is appalled by the outcome. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has said that the Chinese court's decision is an outrage. Albanese has also vowed to continue to make efforts for his release. Foreign Minister Penny Wong has summoned China's ambassador to Australia for an explanation. She has said the government will be communicating its response in the strongest terms. Under Chinese law, the suspended death sentence gives the accused a two-year reprieve from being executed, after which it is automatically converted to life imprisonment, or more rarely, fixed-term imprisonment. Chinese-born Australian citizen, 58-year-old Dr. Yang Jun, Previously worked for China's Ministry of State Security, he wrote three novels about China's espionage apparatus and had been critical of human rights abuses under the Chinese government. Yang was working in New York before his arrest at China's Guangzhou airport in 2019. Yang Jun's long detention has been a source of tensions between, tensions between Australia and China. Ties between the two countries were improving under the Anthony Albanese-led Labour government in Australia. However, the death sentence it now clouds these relations.